Hey guys, it's Spaces Sins, and we are back with more Amnesia Crowd finishing Aki's kind of route, all of his stuff. Today, okay, all right, hi. We're doing okay, recording software, Jesus. All right, that was weird thing. Anyway, um, I think we're good. Weird static sound. Uh, we have to do the communication stuff, and then we'll do his little, like, after thingamajiggy in the working route words. I can't, okay, does it keep flicking? Because I swear to God, every time I take my eyes off of my computer, it's doing shit, but... It's like every single time, like, if I take my computer and I unattach it from my recording software, it's just dumb as shit. Anyway. <clears throat> we can have a relaxing date today with no one bothering us. Where do you want to go? <laughs> we go to my room. All right. I guess it doesn't really matter where you go if you think about it, because you're going to have the same answers and questions. Anyway. Oh, let's talk. I want to hear your voice. Nobody in the history of ever has said that. So, like, I'm going to call shenanigans right now. Please take your time and relax. What's your favorite food? Your hair is smooth. When's your birthday? We should know his birthday already. Um, I feel like please take your time and relax is a good one. Um, your hair smooth is also one that's in here. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot in here. I feel like I told my kitten's done a lot more, like, investigating in, uh, Iki's than everybody else. <laughs> or there's just a lot more that Iki, like, it appeals to him. I don't know. You should, too. I feel like you're a bit stiff, but are you possibly nervous? Of course I'm nervous. Yes, a little bit. I'm alone with you, so I'm conscious of it. I'm relaxing as well. I'll get used to it quickly. I feel like I'll get used to it quickly. Probably a better answer, but... I'm alone with you, so I'm conscious of it is actually, like, good, too. Like, yeah, a little bit. And I'm relaxing. I'm relaxing is a lie, obviously. So I'm going to say I'm conscious of it because that was my first choice. But that is what is in the guide, so. You really are adorable. Please don't stare at me so closely. What's your favorite food? You look handsome today as usual. I like you look handsome today as usual. Sometimes we're just going to go with our gut. And then other times we'll look at the guide if they're questionable. Because, like... This way it takes a little bit longer if we don't get it fucking perfect, you know what I mean? Because I think it gets up and it's done. Once it's done, it kind of ends it. So, like, you could whip through these fast, but... I'm pretty sure that's because of your influence. I feel like I'm twice as handsome when I'm seeing you. I love you. You're adorable. Stop it. I'll get even more rivals this way. No, nah, that's not a good one. If you get any more handsome, it'll be troubling. I didn't know there was a change. But if I said you look more hands, you're looking handsome today. I didn't notice there was a change. That's so rude. Why do you become handsome when you're seeing me? I like that one out of all of them. The troubling ones too. It's troubling because like I can't control myself. Yeah, it could be good depending on how you're gonna word it, you know. And that's obvious, isn't it? And don't make me say it. It's pretty embarrassing to say my feelings out loud, you know. Please don't stare at me so closely. Weather's nice, or you're having fun. Seeing your smiling face makes me happy, Iggy. That is good. That can't not be right. I'm always smiling when I'm in front of girls, though. Especially when it's you. Oh, that went down. Ooh, really? Okay. Oh, you don't have to push yourself, you know. That's why I'm always happy. All right. Thanks. I'm glad. Okay, that worked. And it's weird because that question brought the romance down. Like, like I love seeing your smiling face. I don't like that. Like, that's weird. But anyway. Would you like some sweets? Favorite food? Are you having fun? I'm happy when I'm together with you. That's a good one. But who knows? Last time, like, I like seeing your smiling face. Made him not happy. I don't know. Huh. I'm surprised. You were thinking the exact same thing I was. It must be telepathy. I'm even happier now. I'm happy to hear you're happy. <laughs> I'm happy you're happy. Such a canned fucking response, but it's usually good. Thanks. I'm glad. Oh, that did nothing, but okay. What should we do for lunch? Are you thirsty? How do I look today? Okay, seeing your smiling face makes me happy is not a good one for him. Like, are you thirsty? Actually, I do think I'm getting thirsty. 
I thought my heart's all watered up. Just since I'm always thinking about you. It's important that your heart's watered too. I'm happy to hear you say that. Is that true? That's a little embarrassing. I feel like I'm happy to hear you say that and that's a little embarrassing or both like good. You know? Um, I don't I don't know. Hold on. I don't know if this one's in the guide. Are you thirsty? Yeah, it's important that your heart's watered too. Okay. What exactly do you think about me? Hearing you say that only waters my heart further. Would you like some coffee? The weather's nice. Are you tired? Okay, would you like some coffee? Uh, otherwise, the weather, because, like, are you tired? And we know the smiling face one, so coffee, because we just talked about being thirsty, so coffee's a good thing. Hey, at the very end, could you add master to your sentence? I'd like to have everyone's maid all to myself just for today. Hey, simmer down, buddy. It's only when I'm at work. What do you mean by everyone's maid? Huh? Um, but master, it's embarrassing, so I can't. What do you mean by everyone's mate? I'm not really sure. Like, like, do we do we oblige him? Like, he asked us to. So is that like, all right? I love that reaction of yours. Okay, that worked. Hey, are you satisfied with just talking? I'd like to get a little more friendly. You know what I mean, right? Come a little closer. I have no intention of letting you go yet. Are you satisfied with just talking? And then we're like, <laughs> Anyway, would you like some coffee? <laughs> the master? The same shit. Um, I guess what are you doing tomorrow? You're already talking about tomorrow, even though today is not even over yet. I'll keep thinking about you all tomorrow, too. I'm happy for that. I'll be thinking about you, too. Will you see Ken tomorrow at your university? Sorry, I was asking about your schedule tomorrow. I'll be thinking about you, too. Really? I'm really happy to hear that you're thinking about me. And then why don't we meet tomorrow, too? Bam. <laughs> like, ten minutes later. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> All right, whatever. Well, there's still the after thing, okay. I'm happy to be alone with you like this. Hey, come here. Over here in my arms. Why are you holding back? And this is a special spot prepared just for you. And that's why if you don't come over here, my heart will be empty and I'll be lonely. And then hurry. Without your warmth, my heart will catch a cold. If it catches a cold, unless you pour even more love onto it than right now, it might be tough for it to recover. <laughs> so manipulative. I love it. But which would you prefer? Warming up my heart here and now in my arms? Or pouring even more love into my heart after it's caught a cold? I would still pour more love into you, regardless. But I'll also keep your heart warm now. So how about both? <laughs> what would I need to do to heal the cold? Even I don't know that. So please love me as best you can in your own way. I feel like I'm being requested something very difficult. And then, it, then wouldn't it be easier to curl up in my arms? Yes, like that. I love honest girls. Uh... When I hold you like this, you really do feel so soft and warm. I mean, I just, it's so funny because she gets embarrassed, but like, I mean, I, I get it would be like, you, I would giggle. I'm not going to lie, but like, Amanda just be like, just come here and let me hold you. I just want to hold you. All right. That sounds like a great time. Why am I? I'm like, oh, no, I can't. All right. Hold away. This is amazing. You want to pet me on the head too? Great. I love it. I will just lay here, you hold me and pet me, and I'm happy. Like, that sounds like a great fucking time. Let's not be embarrassed about that. Let's lunge at this opportunity. Because I'm just saying, nice. Everybody likes affection. And then every once in a while, you have to hold them and pet them too. Because, you know, you got to share the affection. But I'm just saying, like, who doesn't enjoy that shit? Come on. The hell? <laughs> anyway. And why do you smell so nice? Luckily, I bathed. <laughs> It's like you're made of candy. Or maybe cotton candy. Fluffy and sweet when eaten. But once you put it in your mouth, it quickly melts. There is some really inappropriate shit going through my head right now. So I'm just gonna... Just... just okay. Since it melts so quickly, you end up wanting to eat more. But could I eat you up? You need, okay, now you need to simmer down, buddy. 
this ear or your thin neckline, and they all look delicious. Please wait. Maybe it was a bit too soon. Is your heart not ready for that yet? Like, dear God, I, girl, shut up. You get out of here. I'm going to take over. <laughs> it's all right. I'll always wait for you until you want me from the bottom of your heart. Like, why would, like, this man is gorgeous. Stop it. Also, again, very affectionate. I'm, okay. Just, just, let's just go with this. But I have no intention of letting you go anymore today. At least let me have that much. I do at least want to show some mature leeway, and that's how I've intended to interact with you. But men are pretty delicate and weak creatures, you know. Who will collapse unless we have a girl heal us like this occasionally? I feel like that's just you. I don't think everyone's exactly like that, but you know. Are you hurt right now, Iki? Right now you're here with me. And thanks to that, my emptiness inside me has been filled, and I've been healed. I mean, it is kind of nice when he's like, I'm just empty when you're not here. Like, that's kind of adorable. Don't get too clingy, because that's a little weird. But, you know, right now it's fine. There's only one person in this world who can both hurt me and heal me. And it's you, Spacey. I don't want to hurt you, Iki. What an adorable thing to say. It's no good. Hey, could I kiss you? What's the matter? Your face is red. You're red like a ripe apple. Another thing you want to eat, right? It's no use. I can't hold back. Can I eat you up? Please? I, you know... Oh, we've had better CG. It's not bad. But at first I was like, she looks, I'm glad she doesn't have the giant, like shocked doll eyes, but she also looks dead in the eyes. But at the same time, it's kind of pretty. Like the way they drew her eyes and everything and the color in them is beautiful. But it almost is like, I feel like the vibe is almost like, I am dead in the eyes and he is just doing it. And I am a doll. Like, there's no life in it. It's strange. So, like, it's not a bad CG, but it's also, like, I feel like if this were in a bad ending where it was, like, you know, like, oh, we're just a doll and he does whatever he wants and I'm dead inside and, like, I'm just a hoss, then you'd be like, yep, yeah, that's the vibe. And it's like, that's not the vibe we should be getting here. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. I feel like they did a better job in Toma's CGs, honestly, than in Iki's CGs, which is slightly disappointing because I love Iki, but... You know, it's just, I don't know. It's not bad, you know what I'm saying? But it does, I feel like if this were put in a bad ending like that, you'd be like, okay. But it's in this good ending, happy place, and it's like, why does she gotta look dead in the eyes? Like, she doesn't want to be here. Like, like she's a husk. I'm not. Like, it's a little quiet, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't think that's the vibe they were going for, but that's the way I feel when I see it. I don't hate it, but it doesn't fit what's happening here to me. Like, there's just something off about it. Anyway. You really are sweet. You're sweet and very delicious. Like, you know what I mean? Um, my girl, the boobs, Jesus. Also, her dress is micro short, jeez. Like, but it is, doesn't it kind of just give you that vibe of like, it's a bad ending, CG. And like, and not like it's this happy ending. There's just something... I don't know. I don't know. Again, and like it, a CG like this and that kind of ending, you'd be like, I'm here for it, like whatever. But it does seem weird that it's that's the vibe I'm getting from the CG and it's not the way this ending this is. So it's awkward. Like you're like, it's not mathing for me. Oh, but I mean, it seems like this apple had poison in it. Poison? Because the moment I took a bite, my heart started racing to the point that it might tear apart. It's beating so much it might burst and stop. Hmm, but I still want to eat more. What a highly addictive apple. Won't you let me have one more bite? Yes. Really? I didn't think you'd give me permission. I'm glad. Can I kiss you elsewhere? 
want to know how other parts of you taste. I mean... Sir. That's... You can't. <laughs> even your ears are red, you know. They look even riper and more delicious. Yes, I know. Your heart won't last if I go any further, right? I wish to be able to shoot through your heart. But it's not like I want to stop it. I mean, if your heart were to stop from some sort of poison and you were to fall asleep, at that time, I'll wake you up from your sleep. I can't give up this role to anyone else. I'll give my beloved princess an awakening kiss. I hope to be your fated prince. Would you accept me as your prince? I think you're always a prince to all girls, Iki. Wow. That's kind of like, he's trying to be romantic and cute, and you're like, that's so, like, it's such a douchey thing to say. I don't want to be a prince for an unspecified number, but only yours. Will you please accept me? My only, my beautiful princess. I mean, like, I get, like, Iki's condition and the fangirls and everything. But, like, to say something like that to him when he's spouting off all this shit and then you're like, I think you're like a prince to, like, every girl you meet. That's just... I sometimes feel like when they write her, like, she says these things that are just very almost robotic. You are a prince to every girl that you meet. And it's like, where you? he's spewing all these lines and you're either like, oh god, no, oh no, 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 oh, the stuttering mess. Or like, you're saying shit like this when he's trying to be romantic and it's like, girl, are you need to leave because you're not here. Let the rest of us be here with this shit that he's saying and enjoy it instead of you being so robotic over here. Like, you're not, none of this affects you. And then he's like, can I kiss you? No. Girl, get out. Like, sometimes she's good. Again, the first game, I didn't have a problem. I know a lot of people were, like, ragging on her for being basically a cardboard box of nothingness. But it's like, she had her brain smashed out by a freaking spirit. Like, Orion knocked all of our Ghiblis out. So, like, it makes sense. It totally fit what was happening in the game, so I can't be mad about it. Now that you've got a personality back, your personality is bland and robotic. And your man is, like, spewing all these things, and you're like, no, don't. And... You are everybody's print. Like, what do you, how, how is this not affecting you? The most effect you have is like, oh my God, my heart's racing because his eyes. Okay. And the other part, but like, you just, I just, I'm going to need something more here. Like, you know, like a little more personality than this. That's such a, I, uh, I think that's my problem with these later games. I'm glad that they localized these and we had this experience, but they're kind of, they get to the point where you're like, God, you know what? She's starting to piss me off. Cause like this, or the fact that like, it doesn't make sense with, Oh, well, we're not even married yet. Yeah, we were. What the hell just happened? Like you're just retconning shit and things are all over the place and nothing makes sense anymore. And you just like, I don't know. Overall, it's like, I'm glad they localized them. Because I feel like I would have wanted them forever. But now it's one of those like, okay, yeah, it's a thing. It exists. Maybe I still have fond memories of the first Amnesia game. Because that was our first Atoma game that we really played. Like the big budget one, not like an indie one, you know. And it's like, okay, but like. So I have, it has a special place in my heart. Especially Ken and Iki. But like the later ones, these last two, it's like, I mean. They are what they are. I think later was better crowd. Is good for, like, these little thingies, you know, like the little working thing, these little snippet things. But I don't think it was really necessary, and I think they could have done a better job making it, you know, making her adjust her personality, like, grow. Don't just be a cardboard box, like, the, having these robotic responses that don't make sense, and never changing. Like, especially, like, well, it's been three years, now we're gonna get engaged, but, like, you're still acting... Like, oh my god, he's holding my hand, it's so weird. Like, get over it! This is not, we've been dating for three weeks. It's three years. Stop acting like this. I'm not saying she needs to be a wild fucking nymphomaniac, but, like, we need to, like, change a little bit, grow a little bit, act a little more mature and not like a 13-year-old girl. Like, you know? I don't know. Or them responses like this, like, come on. Do it better. Writers could have done better in this. 
feel like we have too many of these conversations where I'm like, you know, we're having some fun and then you ruin it. Like, it's just a roller coaster over here and I'm just, it's not a fun one. At the end of the day, like, I'm glad these are here and we're playing them, but it's going to be one of those where I think at the end it's going to be like, yeah, if we never played them, I don't think we were missing much. You know, it's not like it was the best thing ever. It's like, eh, we had some fun and we've had some aggravation, but overall it's fine. You know, I don't think I've wasted my time or anything, but it is like, you know, eh, eh. was it a waste of recording? You know, I don't know. That's up to you guys. Is it one of those where you're like, no, I'm so glad we played this, even if it was a roller coaster and like it wasn't always exciting? Or it's one of those, now we could have played something else. You know what I mean? Because especially now with all the backlog and everything, it's like some things are going to get cut. And like, was this one of the things that should have gotten cut and I should have just played it on my own? And like, you know what I mean? Just, you know, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. You're getting embarrassed to nothing like that's incredibly adorable. I mean, if you don't put it into words, then I'll get anxious. So come on, please say it. I want you to firmly say it with your own words. She does not have to firmly say anything, Iki Jesus. Accept me as only your prince. Iki, you're my... Yes, continue. And the fact that, like, I get this would be kind of awkward. He's like, come on, come on, call me your prince. But it's not the, like... <sighs> Hi, and you're my prince. God, I feel goofy saying it. It's more like you're... Oh my God, so... <sighs> like, it's more cowering embarrassed than like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. And like goofy embarrassed. Goofy embarrassed I can handle. This is more like the cowering, oh my, I don't know, I can't, oh, like... Like, just an obnoxious embarrassed where it's like, no, come on, seriously. I only my prince... Really? I'm so glad. And it could be the way I read it, but it's also the way they write it, you know? You accepted it clearly. So with this, I'm your only prince. I will protect you, even at the cost of my life. And I will love you forever. I'll make you happy. I'll continue to protect your happiness. And that's why I want you to always smile for me. Yes. Thank you. What should we do? There's still time. Do you want to continue our date? I'll go home now, because, like, I can't handle her right now. My date's already over, is it? It's hard for me to say goodbye to you, but it's happier if I look forward to our next meeting. I mean, it's just... And again, it's just because the conversation points would be exactly the same. So, like, you could just see different locations, and you could mess around with different choices, but I don't think it's worth, like... I mean, we did it with Shin... But I don't think it's worth it for everyone else to go and be like, okay, let's go to 500 different things. So, so we got to go back. Okay, so we got to go to the working thing. We skip the prologue. And we do the mini events when we get to the first working section. And glasses butler service. Yes! I'm into that! Glasses butler service. Is Iggy going to put on his glasses that we only just found out about the last time? <laughs> was that in later? That was in later, wasn't it? Yeah. And a safe trip, madam. You! It's finally closing time. You worked really hard today. The manager's glaring at the wall and mumbling something. Oh, it's wrong. Isn't that a little spooky? Oh, what's the matter, manager? I thought I heard you chanting something just now. Oh, right. Okay. I forgot. I was like, what's he like in this world? Right. This is where Waka's freaking like some kind of psychic whatever over here. I forgot that this little the working world is a totally different little universe because I was thinking it's Iki's universe. You know what I mean? It gets a little confusing when it's like there's a little different personality for certain people in different universes, but this working even though you're coming in to do Toma or Shin or Iki or whoever, it's like, nope, that's a whole other little bubble of her. <sighs> oh, no, it's nothing serious. Merely, oh, there's an intersection under an overpass just past here, yes. Yes, there is. 
Well, on my way to work, I saw a bouquet placed on the edge of the road. And I told her not to follow me, but... Wait, what did you say? And who? The ghost. Manager, could it be that there's something over there? Something. Only, of course, there's a woman covered in blood. Like, there's a bunch of flowers on the side of the road means somebody died there in an accident because of the... Hi, have you ever driven down a highway in the United States? You see the little crosses and the bouquets and things where people died in accidents. So, like, that's exactly what I was thinking. And he said she, not to follow him. So a ghost is following him. Of course it's a ghost. You know, I kind of love Waka in this. <laughs> I kind of, we needed, what we needed in this was just a whole other little section of Waka's world. Like we had in later, just this version of him, where it's just weird ghost things where we're like, this man's insane. I love it. That's what we needed more of. Less boring filler, more weird ass fucking Waka, okay? That's that's the filler that we needed. That fluff in the weirdness. Yeah, I'm really terrible when it comes to stuff like this. She was in a terrible state. It seems after she was hit by a car, she was dragged for some time by a dump truck. Jesus. Her limbs were twisted and torn in impossible directions. Her hair stuck against her bloodied face. Okay, you know, okay, Waka, when I said I wanted some, like, fluffy weirdness, I didn't mean let's get gruesome. Let's dial it back a little. I don't want this! I don't want to hear this! You and me both. The one piece she had just bought was dyed bright red. One piece she just bought was dyed bright red. Okay. Her favorite shoes had fallen off, so she was barefoot. Manager, when you say you saw her, it was only briefly, right? Why do you remember so well? Well, of course, that's because right this very moment. She's right there standing behind Spacey. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Hiki's face is like, the fuck is happening? I like this shit. I want this more. So see, this is the up part of the roller coaster I was talking about. Like, we have these moments like this. This is fun, weird fluff. It makes no sense. It's pointless. It's great. That's what I want. Don't try to, like, fill in, like, okay, we're doing this stuff and we've got to make the... No, no, just give me weird shit like this. Random, short, little, fluffy bullshit. That's all I want. Like, you know. <laughs> no need to be so terrified. It seems she'll be leaving. Can we believe anything he says? We're okay, right? It seems the cafe isn't very comfortable with newcomers, as there are various visitors who've preceded them. What? There are others? I feel like I'm breaking out in a cold sweat all over again. Mm, hasn't the manager been staring at me for a while now? No, there's no way he could be... He really is looking at me. He's absolutely looking my way. Why? Hey, why? This is creeping me out, so I'm going to try moving a little. Yeah. Oh, his gaze turned away. It really was my imagination. My auras disappeared. I really do sense some sort of mysterious power from you. He is? He's actually able to notice me. But it's quite strange. It's neither the dead nor the living. Feeling I've never encountered until now. Thank goodness, he's gone on to my aura, but it looks like he hasn't realized that I'm a spirit. <laughs> Manager, maybe we should leave it alone. She's shivering. Oh, my apologies. I just piqued my interest. Oh, I'm gonna say, I'm a little concerned. Am I gonna have to keep an eye on you from now on, Manager? Oh, no, she herself's not the target of my interest, but rather the unique circumstance she's in. Hmm... I'll have to take your word for that. I'd be grateful if you did so. Now, today I'd like to explain a little bit about our next event. The next event, huh? Amino no Hitsuji is a variety of events, so I'm looking forward to it. But what will we be doing? It's kind of funny because I kind of forgot this. Shouldn't this be about glasses on butlers? <laughs> like... Well, at the request of a female staff member and a customer, I'm planning to hold a glasses day. I love the fact... That, like, this is a thing. It's not like, let's make a cat cafe. It's like a glasses cafe. We want the butlers, the hot butlers and glasses. Yeah. You know what we like? Men in glasses are hot. Like, <laughs> it's 
funny because like most people are like, oh, glasses are nerdy. I'm like, no, glasses are sexy. I don't know when that switched. You know, like when I was growing up, it was like, oh, I'm glasses sucks. And now it's like, glasses are hot. <laughs> of course, also being a nerd and a geek and into the gaming and all that stuff was like, when I was younger, it was like, oh, you're a nerd and you're a freak. And now it's like popular. So like, shit changes. Like, anime now is pretty mainstream. But like, there was a point where it was like, oh, you watch anime, you fucking nerd. Like, you were a loser and shit. Like, I don't... I, it never should have been that way. Like, you could have glasses, you could have freckles, you could have red hair, you could have blonde hair, you could be tall. Short. Like, it shouldn't fucking matter. Like, you're a human being. How your body is is not trendy, and it shouldn't ever be. Like, oh, it's trendy to have a big ass. Like, if you have a big ass, great. If you have a small ass, great. Like, whatever. It shouldn't be trendy for a body. Like, you know what I mean? Because it's physically impossible to be like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to grow my ass six sizes without, like, implants and shit. You know what I mean? Like, your body is your body, and it should never, you should never be made to feel like shit because physical aspects are trendy or not. And, like, with glasses, it's like, okay, it might be trendy to wear fake glasses. Whatever, fine. I mean, that's, you could get contacts or you could choose not to, but, like, people shouldn't be, oh, glasses make you a nerd. Now glasses are sexy. But that's the way it is. I mean, I don't think when I was younger I had a, like, I didn't have any, like, what I find attractive preferences until, like, later on in life. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I was always behind on that. I wasn't, like... My best friend who was like, this is hot and this is sexy. I'm like, I don't get any of that. It took me a lot longer to figure that shit out because it just, I'm more on the ace spectrum. Despite all the shit that I say when we play these games. My mind is a dirty, dirty whore, but the rest of me is like, nah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Fantasy and reality are two totally vastly different fucking things, but I don't know. But I just think it's funny that all of a sudden, like, all this shit, like, Glasses are sexy, but, like, it was a point in time where it was like, oh, nerds have glasses. Yeah, but nerds are hot. Like, <laughs> uh, so, I, I don't know. I'm just happy for glasses on Butler's Day, because that's two hot things. Butlers are hot. Glasses are hot. Glasses on Butler's. Hot. Just saying. And we know me. Put glasses on any character, and instantly it's like, into it. It's rare when the glasses character isn't my favorite. Because, like, sometimes you're like, eh, the whole vibe isn't working for me. But, like, usually the glasses, that's definitely always working for me. <laughs> like, Waka, he's hot. It's the glasses, though. That's, like, at least 50% of it. If you took the glasses off, you'd still be hot and it'd still be into it. But the glasses just amplify. I'm just... Eki and glasses? Fuck, I'm dead. Kent? Love it. I think Kent's the reason this all started, but anyway. I've been waiting for this! It's a wonderful proposal. I'm gonna guess it was those two. Hi, Rika. When did you get here? Just a moment ago, Mr. Iki. Oh, I get it. The staff member who requested it was Mine, and the customer who requested it was Rika. Exactly right, Mr. Iki. Rika, oh, this might be a selfish request, but please keep this a secret until the day we hold it. But of course, my lips are sealed, so you needn't worry. I totally read that wrong, but at the same con- like... So you have no need to worry, so you needn't worry. Whatever. <laughs> Why is Rika even saying that? So weird that she's staying after closing, it doesn't even work here. So when you say glasses, we'll just be wearing them? Oh, what's so great about that? Because men in glasses are hot, Iki. Shut your mouth and put them on. It's kind of like in Tobo where it was like Cat Cafe. It was like, put the cat ears on! Kent, put those fucking cat ears on! Cat ears and glasses? Dead. <laughs> so mad that he didn't. Because it was supposed to be about Tomo, but I'm still like, I want Kent to put the, gla the fucking cat ears on. He's already got the glasses. Iki, what do you mean? Men wearing glasses are what a girl's dreams are made of, okay? Mina gets us. Really? Glasses? Hmm. The people who don't usually wear glasses put them on? 
doesn't it make your heart skip a beat? It's just glasses on makes my heart skip a beat, so, like, whatever. I would love to see Mr. Iki wearing glasses. I'm certain it would suit you. We've already seen this, and I'm happy we're going to see more of this. Well, this is the op op uh, uh. Well, this is the opinion of the representative of the regulars. The representative of the regulars, huh? But Ukiyo never gets called at these times. He must be busy. Mr. Iki wearing glasses. I simply cannot wait. Rika, same. Rika, Mine, us, same. All the, we're all in the, this together. So this is what it looks like when people say they're attracted to people in glasses, right? Humans are weird. You shut up, Orion! Don't judge me! <laughs> I'm kitchen staff, so I don't need to do it right. Makes no sense to wear glasses when my eyes aren't even bad. Uh, they could be fake dumbass. There it is! She's always really stubborn at times like these. Uh, I guess Kent is, too. Kent already has glasses, though. When on the other hand, people like that are much better suited for the kitchen. The manager has good sensibility. Yes, you're right. Well, this time around, the kitchen staff will be excluded. We do have to keep the budget in mind, too. Before the day of the event, please prepare glasses that suit you. I appreciate your cooperation. Now, I shall be taking my leave. Iggy, I'll leave closing to you. And that's no problem. It's a little rare for you to be in the first... It's a little rare for you to be the first person to leave, manager. <laughs> the mad look on his face. The manager, what's the matter? Why are you staring at the wall? Whoa. Well, he was thinking of returning her back today. <sighs> Don't wear that bouquet was. <laughs> and she already left a while ago? <laughs> Just made Orion shriek like a girl. Phew! <laughs> today was kind of horrific. I feel a weight on my shoulders. The manager can't really see that stuff, can he? I did work today. Hey, are you free after this? I want to go buy some glasses. Uh, do you want to come with me? Other than my glasses for going outside, I have a few no-lens glasses. But I don't feel they suit me much. And since we can expense them, I'd be happy if you could choose a pair for me. Oh, I love this. And now that I think of it, you're also in charge of the floor. So why don't you also need to prepare glasses? I'll go with you to buy them. Yeah. Really? And that's great. I'll make sure to point some out for you that'll suit you perfectly. <laughs> oh, not only was he flirting with you, but I think he winked at you too. That's awesome. Why are you getting so red? If you make that face, you're just going to get my hopes up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then let's get going. Are you really kidding? No, you're not. Love it. The glasses department in this department store is fancy. It's difficult to choose when there are so many types available. And did you find anything good? Now let me see. I like how their clothes suit you, so what about something similar? Oh, but these larger black frames also look like they might suit you. Well, why don't you try putting them on? <laughs> and the mirror's over here. Yeah, it really looks good on you. You look so cute. Oh, but these tortoiseshell ones could be nice. Retro. Here, I'll put them on for you. I look this way, please. I hope we get a fucking CG with his goddamn glasses on. The clo- Oh, close! You're close, Iggy! How is it you can wield such a charm so effortless effortlessly? He's even charming Orion. Yeah, these look cute, too. It's nice of him to see that these all look good in you, but it makes it difficult to find a pair that suits you. I know, why don't we choose Iggy's first? And maybe you'll find some you look good in if we do it that way. Hmm? What? Maybe you'll choose a pair for me. I'd be delighted. Okay, go for it. All of the store attendants seem busy, and there aren't any other customers nearby. I think even if I take my sunglasses off now, you'll be the only one to see. It seems my eyes have no effect on you, if you're simply looking straight at them. But perhaps if I put on glasses, perhaps you'll begin to have feelings for me a little. Absolutely. I already have immense feelings for you, but the glasses are not going to hurt at all. They will only amplify. So, and do you feel anything when you look at me? Those are cute, but they're not perfect on you. They're cute, though. 
I said your face is close. Way too close. Also, quit it with your endless supply of pheromones. It's not even us. Fucking Orion's turned on. What's wrong? I don't keep quiet. I say something. Am I embarrassing you? Um, I think they look wonderful. Sure. Really? Hmm. It seems to have a little effect. If I put on different glasses, would it have been more of an effect? Try different ones. Those are the exact same ones. How's this? What right about this? Does it suit me? I'm glad. Whoa! It's easy to tell that he's happy. You know, he, he, he's kind of cute. Orion is totally fucking fall. <laughs> Shit like this. You're like, Orion! Simmer down. <laughs> Stop looking at his eyes. Hey, which design do you like? And tell me what you think about it. It looks okay, right? I think it's like, what about these? They're the exact same glasses. I know. If I try all the glasses in the store, there's got to be one design that'll work on you. Okay, come on. Let's start looking from the other side. Here, give me your hand. Let's go. We were there forever. I don't think anyone could spend so much time trying to find glasses. You gotta find the right ones. Miss Macy, thank you for coming along with me today. I wouldn't have been able to tell what, my, what glasses suited me by myself, so I'm glad you were able to help me. And I was able to pick out some glasses for you, too. I also got to see all the ways you look in different types of glasses. I was happy to feel like I got to steal you away for a little while. I really mean that. Okay, I'll be seeing you. Good night. Ew, you were on your feet for a long time, even after a day of work. Your feet are all swollen. You must be tired. Are you okay? Huh? Hmm. Well, if you're smiling that much, then you must be fine. I understand. Iki and glasses looked a little cooler than expected, after all. Iki almost always carries himself with his carefree attitude, doesn't he? But... When Iki wore the glasses he chose, he gave off a more formal feeling. It was a different kind of charm than usual. Look at Orion's fucking face. He's totally into Iki. Orion, I'm going to need you to simmer down and don't try to steal my boyfriend. Did you think that too? It's true, right? I can't wait for the fair. <laughs> Orion's more into... Orion has more personality and is more into these men than we are, and that's sad. Miss Maisie, how does this look? Oh my god, stop it! Best CG in the game! Fucking dead! You know what? We're gonna get a sexy little Iki CG at the end, you know, the little end thing one, but like, how do we not- Oh my god, look at this. This is so hot. This is ridiculous. How are these glasses for glasses day? Do they suit me? And the fact that he's got the glasses chained, too. Uh, l listen. 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 I know that there was a point in time where glasses changed were like your little old art teacher and they were like hippie art teacher vibes, but like glasses chains are hot too. Put them off. Like, stop it. Stop it. I can't handle this. You're wonderful, Iki. You're 10,000 times cooler than I imagined. You know, Mimi looks really good in glasses too. You look lovely, Mr. Iki. An intelligent essence has been added to your beauty. I simply am just... Mika, don't get all googly-eyed at him. Hey, did you say you wanted to take a commemorative photo? Oh, you're right. How could I be so careless? Someone, anyone, get me my SLR camera. Oh, the Iki fan club members were waiting in the wings? This is a bigger reaction than I expected. Yeah, I guess it makes sense, though. Who are you staring to? I mean, have you seen the man in glasses? I wonder when he's wearing glasses, he seems even more salacious than before. I wonder why. I wonder why when he's wearing glasses, he seems even more salacious than before. Because glasses are hot, Shin! Even Shin is like, why am I turned on? See, everyone. Everyone! Shin's acting calmly as usual. Hey, here comes the manager. You better put your glasses on, too. Really does look good on you. I'm glad I picked those out for you. And I was the first one to see you wearing those. Yes, you look very cute. Can we just talk about how hot you are? Don't talk about me. All right, let's do our best today. No, don't leave me! I was gonna say, that's a perfect place to end it. Understood, madam. Give me a moment, please. 
Order for table five. One glass is mocha cappuccino and a glass is soy milk latte. Got it. I'll have it right out. All right, thanks. Hmm. Whoa! You locked eyes with Iggy. Uh, he's coming over here. Hey, back to the CG! What's wrong? Staring at me for so long like that. Could it be? Is it vain of me to think that you were adoring me from afar? Or admiring me from afar? No. You won't answer. If that's the case. What's the matter, madam? Your mood seems to be low, and I'm worried. If there's anything I could do for you, you have but to ask. Madam Spacey. <laughs> You're blushing a little. And that means my glasses have at least some effect on you, right? Oh my god, they have a lot of effect on me, Iki. You're gorgeous, but with the glasses, skyrocketing. Can't handle it. I'll be wearing them around these other girls today. But maybe next time. I'll wear them for you in private, okay? The glasses stay on during sex! No, no, Iki. <laughs> Look, I'm fucking easy, okay? Put glasses on. I'm there for it. Every single one of the love interests that are my favorite in games, if they don't have glasses, and you slap glasses on them, would absolutely, you know, they would work. Oh, all right. So, well, that was uh, all of Iki's stuff. So that was fun. Go back to the title. Let's go uh, look at our album. Do do do. We're going to unlock the Iki one. Oh, I know. And it's so unfortunate because you know it's going to be amazing. <laughs> look at this! <laughs> this is the best CG in the whole game. Well, for crowd, because the Waka CG is the best one in later, like Jesus. That one lives rent-free in my brain. This one might, too. But look at this. God damn it, how can you be so gorgeous? Shit. Gorgeous, and then you put glasses on. And then there's, like, this one that, like... Again, it's not a bad CG, but it definitely has a vibe to it where she just... It's not even the blushing, it's the dead in the eyes. So it's, like, it gives off a kind of sexy bad ending vibe than a happy little conversation thing, but... And then, like, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. This one's good, but I still think the glasses one is better. Like, everyone else's is, like, super sexy, and Iki's is actually, like, kind of, like, ethereal. It's, like, because he's just sleeping. I wanted it to be a little sexier. You know? Shin and Toma got, like, come sexy going on, like, oh, giving you the eyes and everything, and Iki's just asleep, and he looks like a precious little half-naked angel. You know what I mean? It's not the same vibe. I'm slightly disappointed. Not gonna lie. Like, it's not bad. I'm not saying, but I'm just saying, I was like, this is gonna be like, it's not, it's not top in the glasses one. It's not. This is still the best damn CG of his. <sighs> and I'm just saying, you know, when you're gonna give me the like, we're all shirtless, rolling around in bed kind of see, like, it needs to be like, I mean, I guess I kind of like what they did with Iki's in that case. It was like, oh, look, he's so precious and beautiful and asleep. And everybody else is like, look at me, I'm being sexy. And Iki's always just sexy. So, like, having him be peaceful and asleep and looking like an angel kind of works. You know, they kind of twisted the vibe a little, you know. But I still wanted the slutty sexy one. And you gave me, like, oh, he's so precious when he's sleeping and beautiful. Come on. Ken better be a slutty little one. <laughs> that's all I say. And that's <laughs> but we're going to end on this one because it's my favorite. It's better. Because the glasses, it's just... A, nah. Anyway. um, The glasses made it worth it. Overall, I mean, I don't think there was anything bad. And I again, I even in his like happy after story, yeah, there was some unnecessary filler. I don't think it felt as full of unnecessary shit as like Thomas did. Thomas was like, oh my god, are we fucking done? And like, Iki's actually kind of felt purposeful, and then the after credit kind of thing, there was a point. Like, oh, okay, it's three years later, it's after graduation, we're getting engaged, we're having this little party, and like, it flowed better. It didn't have an unnecessary, like, Thomas had this unnecessary, like, oh, now we've gotta have this conflict. Why? 
let's just get married. Why did we have to have this conflict? That was unnecessary at this point. Like, I don't know. Um, I mean, they take up the same amount of time, but, and I do think that overall the after story endings could just be more fluff. These little side piece things like this, the one that we just did, those are great because they're just little side things or little fluffy. They're short, they're pointless, but they're fun. You know, walk is always a great addition to these. Like the little working ones are kind of cute. They're just goofy little, little things that you do. The suspense ones are good. I just, I think the after story is where it falls off because they try to like lengthen it instead of just making like cute, fluffy little mini scenes where like, okay, we're apartment and we're having these cute romantic little thing. And then maybe we're doing, it's like, it's a lot of unnecessary filler where you're like, why am I, are we, what are we doing? What's the point here? Like, you know, because they tried to make it longer instead of making it short, fluffy, good sugary goodness they're like let's make it longer and like give you substance but the substance is bland and boring you know what i mean you're like this is the brand flakes like i'm not like no you know it's the wheat side of the frosted mini wheats i want the frosted side okay <laughs> go to those commercials like hang on but anyway overall not bad but you know it's a roller coaster where sometimes you're like, I'm really bored. This isn't fun. And then you have moments where you're like, this is great. The CG makes it worth it. <laughs> but anyway, so this was all of Iki's stuff. Next time I'm going to guess we'll probably do Kent, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Ken or Ukio, whoever I feel like. I think Kent's the next one technically in the list in the guide. And that's, we haven't been going in that order. Not that there is an order necessarily. It's you can do whoever you want. Um, but yeah, um, because we did, it's Shin, Iki, Kent, Toma, Uki, we did Shin and Toma, but like, then I don't get confused and we didn't do, actually this one should have an Orion thing, but I don't see it, but yeah, whatever. Anyway, we'll see who we do next time. I have no idea. It's probably going to be a few days to a week or whatever for me anyway. I will you guys next time remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more